ourselves some real windy weather. Kind of sketchy at best. But uh, I got myself a bomb sweeper jig, some Asian shore crabs. So I'm going to pull up on this bridge over here and give it a shot. It's going to be really tough. Wind is going this way, tide is going that way. The old wind against tide special. So we'll see how, uh, how long we can hang out here. Alright, so I'm going to pick out a crab. This guy looks like a good start. Not too big, not too small. It's been a while since I did some jig fishing. Been trying to kind of diversify what I've been doing in the summer months. But uh, we got ourselves an Asian shore crab. Just going to cut off a part of them. Just to get that scent in the water. On a half ounce bottom sweeper. I just do that was the hit there we go there we go there we go thinking striper uh, I don't know tough to tell uh, I think striper I'm hoping she but uh, something tells me striper sheep's head bite to it. I don't know, maybe. Hard to tell. Whatever it is, it's got some size to it. Uh, you never know. Could... I've been... I haven't fished for sheep in so long that... Who knows, man? If it's a sheep, it's gonna be nice, but if it's a striper, it will just be probably average. Oh, sheep. There we go. the kayak to the side here just because I was afraid of flipping. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water over here and release him. Uh, and give him a second to catch his breath. With this much oh, he didn't want he didn't need no breath. Look at that. That's so cool. He just finagling his way out. Man that was such an awesome fish. I think one of the most frightening things with this much wind um, I was I was getting pushed side to side man and if I just sit perfectly you know where the waves are coming to the side I could easily flip a few times I've, I kind of caught myself if you hit yourself in like these weird eddies where you get like this up current where the winds go in the opposite direction you could easily flip I'm not saying like if we flipped it'd be the end of the world, but I'd prefer not to. You know what I mean? I don't want to lose most of my tackle or my cell phone. Um, I'm not even done paying that off yet. Oh, 
a nice sheep set, but boy, I, I was afraid I was going to come across one of these uh, breakers, man, and that would have been brutal. smaller than the last one we just caught but it's still a beautiful specimen man oh man they are such a neat species and I had to I don't usually bring myself on on land to release these fish but I I'm more worried about flipping the kayak honestly in, in these conditions than and it gives me time to actually give them a good revival after a fight like that I'll put you a little too close to the grass, buddy. Sorry. There you go. Second time's the charm. Uh, I'll try dropping here. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What did we just hook? Oh my God. That was like a freight train, man. I'm afraid. This thing's gonna keep going. Holy smokes. That guy took off, man. He's got some weight to him, too. Feels like he's just trying to get his head down in the water. Holy moly. Oh. Gotta try and keep him away. Oh, man. Gotta get him away from the pilings. If he gets inside them pilings, man, it's donezo, man. I don't care how strong a leader you fish. It just takes a little bit of pressure in those pilings, and that fish is gone. If this is a sheep man, whoo, it's gonna be a nice one. But I'm thinking it would be a striper the way. The number of runs it's already taken. utmost respect man and after a fault like that last thing I want to do is just take it off the hook and try and just throw it back in because you know these fish do need some care look at that oh he was ready to go he just didn't know which way to go there he goes such an awesome species